Happy Flame Day, everybody. We're going to kick it off like we always do with the Blue Flame theme song, Contagious, by yours truly, Clarita Hatton Jackson, on Blue Flame Moments Radio Show. Keep it locked right here on the Blue Flame Moments Radio Show with Clarita Hatton Jackson. Hey, Mama! Clarita's on the radio! This is James Fortune in Fire with Favor of God featuring Zacardi Cortez. Hey, what's up, everybody? This is your boy Zacardi Cortez, and I need you to keep it locked in right here. You're listening to the Blue Flame Moments with my girl Clarita Hatton Jackson. That was James Fortune in Fire with Favor of God featuring Zacardi Cortez. And it's time for the Indie Spotlight. Hey, this is Gregory D. from Lansing, Michigan, and I'm excited to share this music with you. You can learn more about me at GregoryDandCompany.com. Next up is my song, I Am a Praiser, by Gregory D. and Company. So keep it locked right here on the Blue Flame Moments radio show with Farida Haddon Jackson. Let's go. Hey, this is Jessica Reedy, and keep it locked here at Blue Flame Moments with Clarita Haddon Jackson. Blue Flame Moments Radio Show. Your weekly source for inspiration. With Clarita Haddon Jackson. And it's time to release the word of the day. Today's word is strength. 2 Corinthians 12 and 9 says, And he said unto them, My grace is sufficient for thee, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Listen, guys, it's natural to feel overwhelmed in everyday situations and sometimes even helpless because we can't see a way out but I promise you this it's in that low place that zero hour of weakness that God shows up in his strength so don't you dare throw in the towel just yet in fact you need to get excited and watch God strengthen you because he promised to and you can take that word to the bank today's guest can definitely share her story that will leave you feeling encouraged and inspired why don't you help me welcome the wonderful vocalist Jessica Reedy hey Jessica Hey, 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 now. <laughs> What's going on, ma'am? You know what? Everything, everything has been a journey and it's been extremely amazing. As you can hear, my son in the back, <laughs> keeping my life alive. <laughs> Keep doing what you're doing because you're doing a great job. Um, uh, let me ask you this question. So with um, from Sunday's best till now, um, your story is still unfolding. So when you woke up this morning, what was your first thought concerning your story now and how it's moving? Um, honestly, I asked God to keep reminding me um, today. I said, God, don't let me forget. Keep reminding me that the same God who found me sitting in the corner trying to figure out my life with a, a one month old in my hand. It's the same guy that's looking at me right now and has this perfect plan orchestrated for my life. Don't let me forget. Um, yes. Without without the process, I don't think I will be the woman that I am right now. I used to wonder what strength really was. Um, you know, you can admire other people and you can say, man, that was strong. But I didn't really know strength until I knew weakness. And I kept going. That's right. Like I, did, I never knew what it what it meant when it says, "It's in my weakness that you are made strong." I didn't know what that really felt like. It's good to say, but it's another thing when you experience your breaking points or your points where you feel like you can't muster another moment, and then you do. That's right. And not only another moment, but you exceed and you excel beyond what you could have thought you could have done, even with the best strength that you had. So. I like me now. <laughs> That's right. I'm so dependent on God. You know, I, yes. I'm so dependent on God. I like me now. I I used to wait on people. I used to depend on people to tell me, hey, do you like this? Hey, was this okay? How about that song? Do you like that song? No. <laughs> that person, she couldn't have no happy days because everything was dependent on another person's emotion. But this one right here, this woman right here has learned, God, do you like me? Are you all right with me? All I need is your yes. That's right. And I'm good. I'm good to go. So, yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. Two different people. I like I like me now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you guys, you got to start liking yourself, loving yourself, appreciating yourself. Uh, 
just go ahead and compliment yourself. Tell you, <laughs> a lot of times we Absolutely. don't do that. So uh, it, it's very important. But you only gain that strength and ability to compliment, encourage yourself through Christ. So, you know, a lot of times we try to do it on our own, find other ways to do it. But it's without him, it's really impossible. OK, I got to ask you this. So I read something okay. and I thought it was so beautiful how when God blessed you with opportunity that you didn't forget about your mom's dream. Please share with us what it felt like to do that for your mom. Um, My whole life, I heard her singing in the house. Um, I would ask her, hey, mom, you know, what did you want to be when you grew up? So, you know, in the perfect world, just I wanted to sing, but I gave my life to y'all. I worked my life to make sure y'all had something to eat. And then fast forward to her having a daughter. And all I wanted to do was sing, but I didn't just want to sing. Like, I wanted her to see me sing. I wanted her to envision herself on the stage with me. And when I finally was able to be on the stage and look in the audience and see my mother and the smile that she had on her face, it was enough. You know what I mean? It right. was, it was, mama, you couldn't walk the steps, but at least you get to see the steps being walked and you're right there next to me. It, I don't know. I can't, it's low key making me want to cry, but it, it's something, something when you get the opportunity to let your, your parent or someone you love see the dream that they didn't fulfill themselves. It's been a great honor. It's been a, a real honor for my mother to be able to, you know, just to see what it feel like. You know what I mean? You, you know, you have a curiosity just to see what it feel like. It's just been good. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. So I thought that story was amazing. I was like, man, that is so cool um, that, you know, she had the same dream and then they had the same pitfall and then you had the same dream and then had the same pitfall, but you were able to yeah. get up and uh, show her and help her and bring her along on your journey and, you know, let her be a part of what you were doing. And so it doesn't feel like a failure to her because she got to see it through you. So I, I love that story. And uh, I think it's very inspiring. If you're just tuning in, you're listening to the amazing story of Jessica Reedy. This is your destiny coach, Clarita Hatton Jackson. And we're hanging out, having some fun and chatting, being mommies and doing what we got to do. Uh, we're having a good time. Yeah. So <laughs> Oh, man, Jessica, you have some brand new music and I got a chance to hear it. I'm excited to be able to share it with our listeners today. Um, but before we share it, I want you to share the story behind the song. Clarita, everything was just falling apart. I mean, anything that I was trying to do right, I did it wrong. Any word that I was trying to say right, it was taken wrong. Any good that I was trying to do, turned on me. It was, it was like... I said, God, either I'm a really, really bad person and I think I'm a good person or somebody is out for me. <laughs> so, exactly. Something is going on. You know what I mean? Somebody mm -hmm. is out for me. Somebody is sabotaging every single thing that I'm trying to do. And the thing is, I, I would get so caught up on the human being being you. And I would find myself arguing and fighting with that person while Satan just walked right out the room. It was like, well, y'all go ahead and finish arguing. I'll be back. You know, it's like, <laughs> I got, I, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I set just, you up and then walked I out. I get it, yes. Yeah, it caused problems and then say, well, oh, all right, let me know when you're done. I'll start another one. And I just realized, I said, you know what? Pause the human. Satan, I'm so tired of you. I, I really am. I, I don't know how to say this to you properly, but I'm going to let you know this. You're not going to hold me back. No more. No more. I'm not going to allow you to. It really became less of a song to him and more of a song to myself. Like I was saying it to myself. You're not going to hold me back. I don't care what lie you tell. I don't care what dirt you throw. I don't care what calamity you cause. I don't care what relationship you try to break. You're not going to break me. You're not going to hold me back. I'm going to keep going. So um, a friend of mine was like, Jessica, you know, I don't want you glorifying Satan. I said, I ain't glorifying Satan, but to ignore and act like he doesn't exist is naive and ignorant. There is a real enemy. Oh, yes. And the same pep talk you would give anybody else, like, hey, I don't want the drama. I'm just going to go ahead and leave the room. Give me permission to do that to him. Sir, you have tried to do a lot of stuff. No more. You're not going to get me. I, I, I will not succumb to whatever it is you're doing my way. Right, even that battle, that battle uh, of the mind, 
and those things that you could possibly deal with within yourself, uh, it's easy for us to hold ourselves back um, because we're yeah. so caught up on, like you were talking about, those lies and those things that we tell ourselves. Uh, mm-hmm. So I, I think you you have a great message, and it's not necessarily glorifying the enemy, but it's reminding yourself that you have to shake off this battle and get up and be who you're supposed to be. Uh, don't hold yourself back from your potential, from the, the the call on your life, the anointing on your life. So I think it's the perfect uh, way to say and get out your message through music. It's, it's the best language to use because now it's going to not just be words to people, but it's going to be a message that gets in their heart because music is that language that gets inside and kind of moves around in those dark and empty places where words and conversation can't go. So know that it's a message and not necessarily a uh, glorification of the enemy. I I just had to say that to you myself. (laughs) Thank you. No problem. (laughs) So I know I can't let you go without making sure people know how to connect with you. I I, I would love to chat longer, but I know you have to go. Um, So let's let's just make sure they know how to get in touch with you, where to find this new music. Um, and any way you want them, I mean, if it's social media, website, whatever, just share that. Absolutely. So you can follow me on all my social streams. It's at Jessica Reedy on Twitter, at Jessica Reedy, at Jessica Reedy Music on Facebook, as well as Instagram. And you can go to my website for any update and especially my blog that I write daily. Um, www.jessicareedyworldwide.com. And, um, Stay updated with anything that I have going on. For the most part, I'm just inspiring myself. And in return, God is allowing me to inspire other people. Um, Just making sure I stay authentic and honest so that I can heal properly and proceed properly. You know, and if I could say anything to anybody, it would be, don't get so caught up in the moment that you make it last a lifetime. God is in the moment and he's already planned the lifetime. So just trust God. Everything is working out and everything will be fine. I love it. I love it. I love it. Cause I was just getting ready to say, don't leave us without dropping the destiny word of wisdom. And you did it and you ain't got to do nothing else. So we might as well get ready to hear. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, that's what, that's the Thank way it works. So when God much. is in something, he just kind of makes it all work out, you know? So <laughs> yeah, <he does. laughs> it's exciting to just to see how God causes things to unfold. So let's thank Jessica for hanging out, spending time with us on blue flame moments. And here's her brand new single from Jessica. Sakarini can't hold me back. Let's go ahead and just make it big right here on Blue Flame Moments. We love you, Jessica. I love you very much. Thank you. My career, my relationships, my mental state wasn't so clear. Losing I plead the blood of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus. I'll be right back with more music after this commercial break. Welcome to eMediaGC.com. Get your message instantly to thousands via email, cell phones, and social networking sites with Electronic Media Gulf Coast. eMediaGC.com is one of the most powerful marketing tools available to businesses of all types and all sizes. You can achieve outstanding results with eMediaGC.com while investing only a small amount of time and an even smaller amount of money. eMediaGC.com. Now here's the top pick of the week, Wide as the Sky by Isabel Davis. Let's have some church with Jonathan Nelson, I Agree, featuring Gene Hoskins. Everybody shout with me, hey. It's important for me to keep you updated on the news, so here it is. Hi, Clarita Hatton Jackson. It's good to be with you on the Blue Flame Moments Radio Show. I'm Bobby Parker, and it's now time for Gospel News. Always letting you know the happenings inside the gospel world of today. And gospel recording artist Jonathan Nelson is returning with a fresh new single for the Saints entitled Jesus, I Love You. It declares his unwavering love for Jesus and also true worship. And it focuses on giving Jesus the love and praise that he deserves. Man, churches were going to be loving this new single. It's a new offering from Jonathan Nelson. Be on the lookout for his brand new song, Jesus, I Love You. Also, author, 
artist, pastor, and praise and worship leader William McDowell joins Integrity Music Group, brand new label, and he'll be recording his new album on May the 10th at the Redemption to the Nation's Church in Chattanooga, Tennessee. Oh, I love his praise and worship. Be on the lookout for brand new music coming real soon from William McDowell. And the Tommies are back. That's right. It's the Tommies reunion celebrating on a new album, and it was released in Chicago. I'm talking about the original Reverend Milton Bronson Thompson Community Singers, a.k.a. the Tommies from Chicago. The new project is available. It's the Tommies reunion. Be sure to pick up your copy today. All right, that's going to do it for Gospel News. I'm Bobby Parker. And now back to my sister, Clarita Haddon Jackson, on the Blue Flame Moments radio show. Thank you, Bobby, for keeping us updated on the Gospel News. Well, my loves, it's that time again. This show was brought to you by our sponsors, Next Dimension University, who is stumping out biblical illiteracy globally, and the Toon Doctor Academy, where creatives can be empowered online 24-7. This is your destiny coach, Clarita Hatton-Jackson, reminding you that there's greatness on the inside of you. I'm here to help you take your flame from red to blue because that's what God has chosen me to do. Don't you ever forget it. You have the ability to shine bright and win.